Hello everyone and welcome back to these sessions on strategic financial management. In the topic derivatives, in continuation of options strategies, in this particular class we are going to talk about a very very important strategy, one of my favorites that is protective put. Someone who can really understand this strategy and use it in the stock and derivative markets can really really take the complete advantage of the market positions. So this is a strategy that can provide you a proper insurance policy against the downward movement of the share price and it will not restrict you to earn profit when the prices move up. That is the greatness about this particular strategy which is known as protective put. So, what exactly is protective put? I am going to explain this whole thing through an example, but first I want you people to write down something very very important. So under the heading option strategies you write protective put and under that you please write a protective put is an options strategies used by investors to hedge against potential losses in their stock holdings. This strategy involves purchasing put option for stocks that an investor already owns. It is essentially an insurance policy against a decline in the stock price. So please write up these couple of paragraphs and then I take you ahead. Alright friends, once you have completed writing something about protective put, let us try to understand the whole concept in detail through this upcoming example. Let me first read out this example for you. Present market price of the share is given as rupees 250. The investor believes that the price of the share will increase by end of the year and hence is willing to take advantage by investing rupees 250 today and acquiring one share. Simultaneously to protect himself from the risk of declining prices, he buys a put option with an exercise price of rupees 250 and a premium of rupees 10. You are required to explain the position of the investor under both the following situations. Number 1, the market price of the share increases to rupees 300, the market price of the share falls down to rupees 200. So what is something really really important over here? Let us try to understand through this particular example. I am sure you have read the example and you have understood what exactly is the example trying to convey. So current market price of the share is rupees 250. So what the investor has done? Investor has purchased the share at 250. So 250 is the actual cost. Parallelly, the investor has spent another rupees 10 for buying a put option. And the put option has a strike price or exercise price of rupees 250 only. So what is going to happen? The overall investment from the pocket is actually 250 plus 10 that is 260. But what I am doing over here is I am analyzing it little differently. I will consider that rupees 10 paid for premium towards acquiring the put option as the cost of an insurance policy. Because if you want a protection against your losses, you have to pay premium for getting that insurance, correct? So, if you look into the investment made in the share price, it is 250 and if the investor has acquired a put option with a strike price of 250, this becomes a protective put. Now what is going to happen? Even if the share price becomes 0, the minimum wealth in the hands of the investor will be 250 and if the share price goes even a rupee beyond 250, 251, 252, even any price like 1000 rupees, the investor will be participating in all the upward movement as an advantage. Just by incurring a premium expense of rupees 10, you are protecting, completely protecting the downward movement of the stock price. It will not cause any loss to you and you have open potential to make any profit. But how will it work? Let me explain this to you. So we have two situations given over here. 
the first situation is talking about what happens when the price moves up this is what the investor was expecting so if the price moves up from 250 to 300 the wealth in the hand of the investor by end of the year will be 300 correct so after one year you can sell the share at 300 get rupees 300 of cash flow in your hand what about the put option that you are holding here you are holding a put option right because you are holder of a put option what you need to do observe when is put option coming in the money put option will come in the money only when the market price is less than the strike price or exercise price here the market price has gone up so you simply let your put option lapse it becomes worthless let it become worthless we don't want that what is the wealth in the hands of the investor rupees 300 means if the stock price has moved up to 300 wealth in the hand of the investor will be 300 if it was 400 wealth would be 400 if it was 500 wealth would be 500 because simply you are going to sell the share at whatever price it is there in case of upward movement and just ignore your put option because anyway it is getting lapsed now what would happen when the share price falls down to 200 still the wealth in your hand will be 250 by end of the year how stock price reduces to 200 you sell the share for 200 you realize rupees 200 as wealth in your hand by end of the year now what you do is look at the put option exercisability the put option becomes in the money why because you are holding a put option with an exercise price or strike price of 250 and the market price of the share is just 200 you have the right to sell it at 250 if you want a payoff from your put option it will be exercise price minus the market price that will give you a payoff of rupees 50 200 you have realized from the sale of share and 50 you will realize on exercising your put option because you are holder of put option now your minimum wealth in hand will be 250 if the price of the share goes below still below still below still below not to worry it will give you a protection minimum wealth in hand will be 250 so i would say you can always pick this strategy for a short run of course this cannot be continued for a long run because in real life a put option expiry will not be as long as two years three years or even for that reason one year put option will be having few months of expiry once you enter into that so for that period it will give you protection against the downward movement and it will give you a complete benefit a complete potential of getting as much benefit and will let you participate in the upward movement of the share price so i'm sure through this example you have understood the whole matter let us do one thing for this particular example let me also give you the exact outcome of both the situations and uh, that will be giving you complete clarity about protective put as a strategy so let us uh, write up that answer to this example so here in your answer you first talk about the first situation when the share price goes up to rupees 300 outcome of protective put as per protective put strategy the investor holds the share as well as the put option to sell it at rupees 250 if the market price is rupees 300 the investor will not exercise the put option and let it lapse and will realize rupees 300 by selling the share at the prevailing market price the total wealth in the hand of the investor at end of the year will be 300 plus 0 300 you are getting from selling the share and 0 is the payoff of your put option because it is getting lapsed ultimately the total wealth in your hand as an investor will be rupees 300 before i move on to the next situation you please write up the content of this particular situation all right friends once you have completed writing this much let us move ahead and write up the later part of the solution we now deal with situation two when the share price falls down to rupees 200 outcome of protective put if the market price is rupees 200 the put option will be exercised for a benefit of 250 minus 200 that is rupees 50 let me remind you when is put option exercisable a put option is exercisable when the market price is less than the exercise price and in that case when it is exercised 
the payoff for that put option is exercise price or strike price minus the market price. So, market price has gone below the strike price. So, definitely the put option will be exercised and exercise price minus market price that will give you a positive payoff of rupees 50 and then you can sell the share at rupees 200 your overall wealth in hand will be rupees 250. So, you get a downward movement protection your minimum wealth in hand will be 250 and that gives you a complete insurance. So, please write the outcome of situation 2 and then I take you ahead. All right, friends, I am sure you have understood the entire application of protective put as a strategy, a wonderful strategy. Now, let us write some details about this. Here is how a protective put works. Stock ownership, the investor must own the underlying stock that the protective put is intended to cover. Buying put options will be the next step. So, investor purchases put options on the same stock each put option typically represents shares of the underlying stock. The strike price of the put option is usually at or below the current stock price. Premium payment of course, this will be an important thing because you have bought put options you will have to pay premium. So, investor pays a premium to buy the put options. This premium is the cost of the insurance against a drop in stock price. So, please write up this much and then I take you ahead. Alright friends, once you have completed writing this whole thing, let us move ahead and continue writing further. Now, how does this protective put provide you a downside protection? If the stock price falls below the strike price of the put option, the investor can exercise the option selling the stock at strike price regardless of how low the market price drops. This limits the potential loss so, the difference between the stock's original purchase price and put option strike price minus the cost of the option premium. So, in the earlier example, I did not consider the cost of the option premium, okay, because I just considered that as an expense towards this insurance. So, this is how you get the downside protection and uh, the upside potential. If the stock price rises, the investor benefits from the increase in stock value. The only loss is the premium paid for put options which can be considered as cost for downside protection. So, please write this much and then I take you ahead. Alright friends, once you have completed writing this much, let us move ahead and continue writing further. The protective put is particularly useful for investors who are bullish on a stock in the long term, but are concerned about potential short term losses. This strategy allows them to retain their stock holdings and benefit from any potential upside while having protection against significant declines. So, please write up this whole thing and then I will take you to a calculative example from your study material. So, before we move on to a calculative example on protective put, let us uh, summarize this whole discussion what we have just made this strategy which is named as protective put what exactly is the strategy where you take a long position in the stock as well as a long position in a put option means you are holding the stock and you are also holding a put option what is your apprehension or expectation you are expecting decline in the price and you want to parallelly participate in case the price goes up that means you want to participate in profit as well as you want to protect yourself from the downward movement. Now, mechanism as the price decline loss on stock increases, but option becomes profitable. So, profit on put option offsets the loss on the stock and when it is it effective moderate to sharp decline in the stock price. So, understand a little bit of decline or rise in price is uh, covered even through the previous strategy that is covered call. But when there is a substantial movement in the stock price that we expect, then protective put is any time a better strategy. So, now let us move on to the illustration given over here that is illustration 32. Mr. C has bought shares of P limited at 310 per share. In order to protect himself from possible price decline, he has bought a put option with a strike price of 270 per share 
for three months with a premium of rupees two per share. He expects that the price will fall sharply. Show his expiration day payoff with the price range of rupees two forty to rupees three forty. So, how do you deal with this? Uh, in fact, I have explained this to you theoretically and conceptually so well that you will have absolutely no trouble in dealing with this. I'll just expand the screen size for your reference. Look at the solution. Expiration day payoff of Mr. C. So, spot prices that will be expected by end of the period 240, 260, 270, 280, 300, 320, 340. Now, what is the payoff on the stock? So, profit or loss on the stock. If you see, the current price of the stock is informed as 310. And if the later date price comes to 240, 310 minus 240 will give you loss of 70. 310 minus 260 will give you loss of 50. 310 minus 270 will give you loss of 40. Then loss of 30, loss of 10. If it becomes 320, you earn a profit of 10. If it is 340, you earn a profit of 30. Now, in each of these situations, when is your put option exercisable? Look at that. So, your put option, let us look into what was the strike price. The strike price or exercise price is 270. So, at 240 and 260, it is definitely exercisable because it is in the money. When it is exactly 270, it is at the money and beyond that it is going out of the money. So, at the money and out of the money for all these situations, your put option payoff will be minus 2 because rupees 2 is the amount of premium that you have paid and your payoff for the initial two lines will be 28 and 8. You know why you are getting that payoff as 28 and 8 because look at this the strike price is 270 and the market price is 240 when you exercise the option you will be getting the payoff of 30 correct and minus the amount of premium that you have paid so your net payoff comes to 28 so your loss on the share which was 70 is reduced by 28 so minus 70 plus 28 your loss now remains as 42 only are you observing one thing that the loss is constant to 42. What does that signify? No matter how much is the decline, the loss will never exceed rupees 42. In other words, the payoff will never be below negative 42. But on the higher side, if it is not 340, but suppose 440, then directly if 340 is giving you net payoff of 28 for the entire thing, 440 would give you 128 means as much as the price rises in the stock, your overall payoff will go on increasing. That is what we have observed earlier as well. So that will be end of this particular solution.